Hello, and welcome to this edition of Mornings. I'm Cassie Montgomery. And I'm Allison Lasienka. Our very own Mayor of North Penn, Ben Hartramps, an outspoken advocate for autism, had a dream to make it onto The Ellen Show. He was ecstatic when he was asked to appear on the show in California. Ben was recognized on The Ellen Show for all the good he has done for his community. We have him now in the studio. High School, Ben, we have come full circle because about three and a half years ago, we sat here in this very studio mm -hmm. and you were talking about selling pretzels. Yep. What's the most important part of the pretzel, Ben? The knot. The knot, that's right. <laughs> ben, that was the beginning of your raising money for autism mm -hmm. awareness. And you did a pretzel sale that day. You threw out the first pitch at a baseball game. Mm -hmm. Three and a half years later, you were on the Ellen Show. Yep. And somehow, Ben, you didn't tell anybody about it. How, I kept it a secret. How did you keep it a secret? It was so hard. I didn't want to tell anybody, not even anybody in North Penn. And this was a dream of yours for a long time, yes. right? What, what kind of things do you have on the table here that you got? Actually, I have a football helmet that the Eagles all signed. So this was um, a gift from the Eagles. Great. So it's pretty cool. And then a Nick Falls signature. Great. And a book. And then um, somebody at my dad's work gave this to me, the replica ring. Unbelievable. Yep. And, and Ellen presented a lot of this stuff to you live on the show. Yep. And she also gave you Eagles tickets. Yep, she did. I'm going to the Monday night uh, game against the Redskins. All right. Now, in case people don't know, she doesn't do all this stuff for Ben just because he's handsome. I mean, obviously, that's not the case, right? No, because I, cause I'm trying to support <laughs> autism. Right. So Ben supports autism, and he's done an incredible job of raising money for the Autism Awareness Challenge. He's the Eagles Autism Ambassador. So, you know, in all this time that Ben's done all these things, we know about it here at North Penn, but mm -hmm. now the whole world knows about it. Yep. What does that mean to you, Ben? I'm just very excited to take autism to action. And yep. I'm hope. And Mr. Monero have a great quote: "Having autism isn't a bad thing, and it doesn't characterize who we are. We are unique and special, just like a rainbow." That's awesome. And uh, Ben, there's another quote that you talked about on the Ellen Show. I believe you said that you like something that she says at the end of every show. Be right? kind to one another. Be kind to one another. So, Ben, what did Ellen give you? What was the last gift you got? Well, they, there was a little thing, and it said, "We want to give you ten thousand dollars for your Eagles Autism Challenge." And I started crying, Mr. Monero. Well, as you should, Ben. I think a lot of people did that watched. Mm -hmm. it. So, okay. So you got $10,000 mm -hmm. toward autism, mm -hmm. and Ellen wants us to be kind to one another, yep. right? So we're going to do something today, okay? Okay. It's called 10 for Ben, okay? <laughs> so this is what 10 for Ben is. 10 for Ben means that today, during the course of the school day, you have to be nice to 10 people. Okay. Random people, and not just you, Ben. This mm -hmm. is everybody in North Penn High School. 10 times today, just be nice to somebody. Mm -hmm. Say hello to them. Buy them a cookie. Hold a door for them. Just sit with somebody at lunch for five minutes who looks like they're sitting by themselves, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Because, Ben, that's what you want to do, right? Yep. Be kind to people. Yep, absolutely. What are things you do where you're kind to everybody every day? We, um, I say hello, I give them yep. high fives, and I give hugs. And that's why I really like to support people on autism. Well, Ben, we're going to keep paying that forward today in your honor. Ten for Ben today. Ben, congratulations on everything you've Thank done. Thank you very much. You're a famous man, Ben. Thank you very much. And it all started right here. Thank you, Mr. Monero. All right, North Penn, we'll see you in a little bit. Back to the desk. Mr. Brumball is back to test your knowledge this week. He wants to know, on this date, who did Sheriff John B. Han of Cochise County, Arizona, charge with murder? Remember to tweet your answers at MPTV with the hashtag Brumball. Every four years, billions tune in to the World Cup. While the North Penn version isn't quite as big, it was still pretty epic. North Penn news reporter Sheeran Chong has more. Snyder Field was filled with excitement as the annual World Cup tournament kicked off. So invitations are sent out to all of the cultural clubs. It's religious, country, language, anything like that. We reach out to them. The first seven people who can respond with a roster are also the first seven people who get to play. Even though the competition was fierce, it did not stop the players from having a fun time. Really, at the end of the day, what really matters is all the money that was put into playing, it goes to charity. So I think all the clubs are having a lot of fun, and especially German club. The tournament came to a finish with Bengali Club taking home the trophy. This is the first year Bengali Club has won, but we're starting a legacy. We'll come back next year. Follow me on Instagram. And next year. Reporting for North Penn News, I'm Sharon Chong. Congratulations to the North Penn Marching Knights for earning first place at Saturday's competition at CV South. The Knights also received Best Overall Effect, Best Visual Performance, and Best Percussion Awards. They will be moving on to the state championships held at Westchester University tomorrow night. Good luck to the Marching Knights. First grade students traveled to the high school for the annual Reading is Fundamental play. With the help of students, teachers, and parent volunteers, the play was a successful event. The play marked the start of the RIF program at the North Penn School District in co-sponsorship with UGI. This program incorporates many activities throughout the school year to educate first graders on the importance of reading and fun. 
The North Penn School District is proud to induct three individuals into the class of 2018 Knights of Honor. Former teacher, swim coach, and aquatics director Rick Carroll, former teacher and theater director Cynthia Loudon, and former poet laureate of Philadelphia y Yolanda Wisher will be inducted. These honorees have, been, have made significant contributions to the North Penn School District community and their career, and have brought great honor to the North Penn School District. This week we have Pranjasi Das in the studio to give us the lowdown. Take it away Pranjasi. Thanks guys, let's get started. The North Penn High School Thespian Troop is participating in the National Trick or Treat So Tots Can Eat Food Drive. You can bring in cans and non-perishable food items to your first period class from now through the second. All donations will be given to Manna on Main Street just in time for Thanksgiving and the holiday season. Right now Mrs. McKee's class is in the lead. The class in the top three places will get a prize. The 2018 Montgomery County Honor String Orchestra will be performing a concert on Friday, November 2nd in the auditorium at 6 o'clock. Tickets will be sold at the door. The fall production of A Midsummer Night's Dream is coming up. The play will be performed on November 15th, 16th, and 17th at 7.30 p.m. and November 18th at 2 p.m. Tickets will be sold at the door, but forms to purchase tickets can be found on the North Penn Theatre webpage. Speaking of masks, Wednesday is Halloween. Those who wear costumes should keep in mind that costumes must be appropriate for school and not detract from classroom learning. Halloween attire should not be offensive to anyone, contain profanity, sexual innuendo, promote drugs, alcohol, illegal substances, or be sacrilegious. Imitation weapons, masks, or face painting are not acceptable. Well, that's it for a lowdown. Let's send it back to the desk. Sophomore Laura Santangelo wants to know, what is your dream tra travel destination? Where do you want to travel, Allison? I think I want to travel to Spain. Let's see where North Penn students want to go on this edition of the Question of the Week. Hawaii. Mesopotamia. Morocco. Um, heaven. Flavor Town. Hawaii. Mars. <laughs> Bora Bora. Tilted Towers. Ireland. Astro, Astro World. World. Oh, Bora Bora. Bali. Punta Cana. California. Spain. Anywhere with Luke. Vladimir Putin's house. Germany. <laughs> Disney World. <laughs> Jamaica. Ireland. Africa. France. Yugoslavia <laughs> school. This week we have Eric Jesperger to bring us the sports update. Take it away, Eric. Thanks, Allison and Cassie. I'm doing great this morning. Hopefully you guys are too. We had a very busy week of sports action here at North Penn, so let's get right into this week's sports update. We kick off in the pool as the girls' water polo team looks to win their fifth consecutive state title this weekend. They're in action today as they play North Allegheny in the first round of states. The girls soccer team won their first round playoff matchup Tuesday night in a 4-0 victory over Avon Grove. Goals by Lauren Ruth, Zoe Baines and Sophia Broadhurst propelled the Knights over the Red Devils and into the second round of playoffs where they met with Penn Ridge last night. However, they fell to the Rams 3-1, wrapping up a phenomenal season. Last night at Christopher Dock, the guys' soccer squad hosted and defeated Hapro Horsham in their postseason matchup by a score of 4-0 with goals by Luke McMahon, Jamie Storr, and Aiden Jerome. Now to the courts, Neha Vlega is your District 1 girls tennis champion. She's moving on to play in the state tournament in November at Hershey. The girls volleyball team lost to Pensbury in three sets Tuesday, wrapping up a tremendous season by the girls volleyball squad. On the track, the cross country teams got their postseason off to a great start as Suburban 1 League co-champions. They are at the District 1 meet today. The football team is on the road tonight to square off with William Tennant as they look to solidify an undefeated regular season. Make plans to be there for the home playoff game next Friday. Finally, on the ice, the North Penn hockey team will be facing off against Saddleton next Wednesday, so be sure to go out and support the team at Hatfield Ice at 9 o'clock. That's all I have for this week's sports update, so now let's send it back to the desk. Thanks, Eric. This week we have Billy Wormuth to discuss the Penny Wars. Take it away, Mr. Monero. Billy, good morning. Good to see you. Do you know what I like best about Eric Jesperger? What? He says nil. 
Nobody ever says that anymore. Agreed. He said it twice. It was great. All right. Anyway, Billy, you are here today to talk about pieing people in the face. Yes, I am. So I would like to pie somebody in the face, as would probably a lot of people here. Agreed. How do we go about doing that? All right. So we're doing penny wars and all lunches. And basically what you do is give your spare change. Uh, and then the grade who raises the most money, they're going to have an opportunity to pie their assistant principal in the face. Okay, remember last year when Prashant pied Dr. Bauer yeah, in the face? Yeah, it was funny, yeah. With, it was very aggressive. I, I know. Correctly, yeah. Prashant is a very aggressive person. I've heard that from a lot of people. Um, but the thing is with this uh, pie in the face type thing, it's also for a very good cause, which is Unite to Inspire. Yes. And what is Unite to Inspire? So Unite to Inspire is the initiative of the Education Foundation, which is a foundation set in North Penn High School to provide grants mm -hmm. for educational opportunities across the district. It is. And basically the foundation is responsible for so many of the things that happen outside of the classroom, such as various events and, yes. and performances and things like that, but also initiatives in the classroom, technology various different um, programs that schools might implement. Exactly. Things that cost money and money doesn't grow on trees, last exactly, I checked. Exactly, yeah. So you can help make North Penn a better place by pieing somebody in the face. Yep. That, that rhymed. Did you hear that? Okay. Anyway, Billy, so all lunches period today, right? Yes, all Today's lunches. Today's the last day, right? Uh, actually, I think we're extending it next week, Monday, Tuesday, Perfect. Wednesday. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So get that penny war going, get that money in the jar, and pie somebody in the face. Billy, anything else you want to say before we shove off for the weekend? That's it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Billy. North Penn, have a great day. To our number one morning show fan, Diane West. Have a wonderful weekend, Diane. And now, back to the desk. Did you tweet your answer to at MPTV for this week's Brumball Challenge? Let's check in with Mr. Brumball himself for the answer. Here's the answer you've all been waiting for. In Cochise County, Arizona, more specifically, the town of Tombstone, one of the most famous gunfights in American history occurred at the OK Corral. And Sheriff John Bean charged Wide Earp and his brothers and Doc Holliday with murder. However, one month later, a judge dismissed all charges, and the Earp brothers and Doc Holliday went down in American history and became the subject of at least four classic Western movies. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. There's no winner for the Brumball Challenge. That's all we have on this edition of Mornings. I'm Cassie Montgomery. And I'm Allison Lasienka. On behalf of everyone at North Penn High School, we would like to send our best wishes to the German exchange students as they go home. Thank you for visiting and we hope to see you again.